Hello dear, in this video we are going to discuss about ASTER algorithm. So ASTER algorithm is a type of informed search technique. So you know what is informed search, right? Uh, additional information regarding each and every branch is given. So that is the heuristic value. So heuristic value is given and based on the heuristic value, whichever has the minimum path cost that will be taken into account. So this ASTER algorithm actually it happens in either a graph structure or a tree structure. So you will have a node and that is connected with some other nodes. Okay, some n number of nodes and it goes on. Okay, so each time each node will have a heuristic value. Okay, so heuristic value will be there for each and every node and the path cost for each and every node will be there. Okay, so it may vary accordingly. Okay, so here, so this heuristic value is taken as H of N. N is for a particular node and the path cost is taken as G of N for each and every node and we'll be calculating F of N is equal to G of N path cost plus H of N, the heuristic value for each and every node. So here it is, like when I take it as one, two, three, for this node, heuristic value is one, path cost is one, one plus one. And for this node, it is two plus two, three plus three. Okay, so this F of N value is calculated for all the uh, nearby nodes, all the nodes that are linked or uh, linked to this node. Okay, and whichever has the minimum value, we are going to take that best first node. Okay, so this is also called as a best first search, best. Best first search. Okay, so this is how it is proceeded. One example I can give for this uh, ASTER algorithm using heuristic value is uh, taking up the eight puzzle problem. You know what is eight puzzle problem, right? So in eight puzzle problem, you have a grid like this. And the elements are arranged in order like uh, this is uh, some initial state it might be anything so i can have it as two eight three four five six one is not there one two three four five six seven is not there okay so this is your current state okay and our goal ultimate goal state is to arrange it in the numbers should be arranged in a uh, clockwise manner Okay, so here it uh, the goal state is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this is your goal state. This is the current state and this is your goal state. And the heuristic value was calculated with number of misplaced tiles. Misplaced tiles, for example. So in this example, what happened? Uh, here, uh, we need 1 over here, but we have 2. So this is misplaced. And here also we have to have two, but we have eight. This is also misplaced. Three, four, five, six, seven or in proper order. Okay, so here the remaining or like this, we can leave this blank state. It is up to the user. Either he can include the blank space or he can also remove the blank space. Okay, so now here uh, two, yeah, two things are misplaced. Even one is misplaced. Okay, so three tiles are misplaced. So heuristic value for this is three. And for the goal state, it is in proper order. So the heuristic for value for goal state is taken as zero. Okay, so here, this is heuristic value. And when I am proceeding with this possible move now, like here, either the next possible move is I have a blank space here. So either I can move two over here or one over here or seven over here. So three possible moves are done in each and every step and here uh, so you have three branches out of it and both three branches are seen so in these kind of examples we can consider the goal or the path cost as level cost or depth value for root node depth value is zero and for the next possible level the depth value will be one two and it goes on Okay, so for this node, if this is the current state, the uh, initial state, the depth value is zero. And for the next possible three moves, right? I told you now. So three moves for moving either two to this place or one to this place and seven to this place. The depth value is taken as one. So G of N is taken as one for all the nodes. And the heuristic value actually varies according to the move that you are doing. Based on the move, 
the heuristic value for the node will be calculated three possible nodes will be calculated okay so we are going to take this kind of graph structure where for each and every node you have a heuristic value and for each and every path you have a path cost value okay so in this whichever has the shortest path that will be taken as the next possible node and it is proceeded accordingly okay so that is how aster algorithm actually works x aster algorithm aims to take up the shortest path considering both heuristic value and the path cost add up both whichever has the that is the best possible path in each and every step is considered okay so now uh, i'll give an example i'll take an example and solve you solve that for you so here uh, we can take this as a structure so here uh, this is the current state heuristic value is 4 and the next possible move is moving either 2 to this place or 1 to this place or 7 to this place so three possible moves are there and uh, here it is the like this is the initial state so here uh, the path value g value was 0 and for each and every path the next possible move one path like all the three possibilities have a equal priority so path cost is taken as same so it is one added one now uh, the heuristic value for each and every values will be calculated accordingly okay so 1 3 and 2 now this 2 has the minimum possible value so we have to proceed only with this branch so this is how aster algorithm actually works so it calculates f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n h of n each and every step and take up the path that has a minimum value minimum f of n value that will be proceeded okay so this is how aster algorithm works now we'll see uh, how it actually works in a graph structure so here this is the graph that i have taken i have taken it from net so this is considered as an initial state and here this is considered as a goal state okay so a is our initial state and uh, j is your goal state since goal state heuristic value is not there and for each and every path you have a path value and each and every node it has a heuristic value okay so we'll, we are going to start up with the starting node i'm just going to uh, start with a okay so i'll have list of visited node so starting with a visit a for a you have to find visiting in the sense we are going to find the children of a for a we have b and f as a children so calculate f of b and f of f okay so a is connected with b and f for both the nodes we are going to calculate the function so for uh, here it is calculation is g of n plus h of n So the path cost plus the heuristic value has to be taken. So the path cost for a to f is three, and the heuristic value of f is six. So it is calculated as nine. And for a to b, the path cost is six. Heuristic value is eight. So it is six plus eight, and we know this is lesser value and this is the greater value. So we have to visit the next node to be visited is f has the minimum value. So f will be visited next. okay so when you are visiting f find the nodes that are connected so a is visited now we are going to visit f the nodes that are connected with f or it is an undirected graph okay so f has three links and out of three links one link is already visited so we have to proceed with the remaining two links one is to g and h so find f of g and f of h and a very important factor is this g of n is a path cost so path cost has to be start from the starting root node okay so we have to take from a to f path cost is 3 and that is common for both g and h a to f to g and a to f to h so 3 is common for both a to f and from f to g the path cost is 1 and for f to h the path cost is 7 plus the heuristic value for each and every node for heuristic value for g is 5 and heuristic value for h is 3 so the total f of n function is it is 8 plus 9 and it is 13 okay and g has the minimum value so g will be selected as the next node to be visited okay so g will be added over here now g is connected so f is also visited now g is connected with f and i 
since f is already visited we just have one possible move so when you have only one possible move we can directly add the node since that is the only existing path okay no need to expand it okay so g is visited i is also visited now from i we have to find all the nodes connected with i g is connected and it is already visited no need to visit it again h e and j are connected so we have to find f of h f of e and f of j okay and the path cost is calculated as starting from the starting node a to f the path cost is 3 so it is 3 for all plus from f to g f to g the path cost is 1 1 is there for all plus from g to i the path cost is 3 3 is common for all plus from G, from i we are going to visit h for h, uh, i to h the path cost is 2 and for i to e the path cost is 5 and from i to j the path cost is 3 okay so this is your g of n function so you have to take the overall path cost okay so now the h of n heuristic value for each and every node h of n for uh, h is 3 and for e it is 3 and j since it is the goal state the heuristic value is 0 so everything need to be taken into account and the actual value was it is 12 and here it is 15 and here it is 3 plus 2 10 okay and the node with the minimum value was j so j will be added as a next visiting node and since j is the goal state we don't want to proceed any more okay so this is the shortest path taken to visit from a to f f to g g to i and i to j so this is the shortest best shortest path that can be taken using our aster algorithm okay so this is how it is proceeded in case of aster algorithm thank you